Welcome back to another show and tell video. Today we're looking at something from EOTech. And this is one of their HWS or holographic weapons sites. So I've actually gone ahead and taken the uh, container out of its sleeve because it was a tight fit and uh, took a little bit of time. So let's take a look at the sleeve real quick. Holographic weapon sights. This is uh, no magnification, so one times. Two eyes open operation. So kind of the bend in principle. I'll drop some links in the description on Eotech, bend in principle, the holographic weapon sight, and uh, which would explain uh, its uh, advantages over, say, other sites. And you can see here, true heads-up display, holographic technology, maximum situational awareness. A little bit of a website there. We continue on the sleeve. A leader in imaging systems, the future of optics slash thermal and night vision technology. And then you can see here other companies involved here. L3. Uh, and also a uh, flag made in the USA. And if we continue on this side of the sleeve, you can see here a couple of diagrams. And this is actually one of the, uh, I believe, uh, 500 series with the large battery cap versus the uh, XPS series, per se. And you can see here some of the features on speed, awareness, durable, stealth, and flexibility. I'll let you read the... Uh, text there under each one and a little bit on operation heads up display window and electrical features and on this side i guess this is where how it would hang up on a uh, hang tag through here the other feature set right there so, if we go ahead and look at the package itself, it is almost like a mini Pelican case. Two sliding lockable uh, sliders, and then it splits right here, which is actually kind of this tight seal, actually. I'm trying to pry it apart. You got to make sure that both of those tabs are all the way open. <clears throat> And then you're going to get layers of padding and then sticker. Instruction card, product registration, and warranty card as well. So, quick reference, this is an EXPS3 we're looking at today. There on the instructions real quick on adjusting, zeroing, and let's see. This is covered under EAR. I don't see anything about ITAR. So it is a uh, can be exportable with proper authorization. If you look at the very bottom there. And Pretty sure this information is already out there on interwebs. You can see some configuration setups there and a QR code. And what other contents do we have in here? Just the foam. And then you can see here at the bottom. And this is a flambeau case. So here you can see some other cutouts for features. So if you want to put extra batteries, you can pull those slots out. If you want to put some other uh, components, accessories in here, you can. But I've gone ahead and taken the unit out itself. And the reason why this is called the Series 3 uh, is because this one has, I believe, the night vision button separately. And this is a e, uh, X series because of the battery being in the front in the sideways configuration, as opposed to that longer, older style with the big hood out the front. And also the controls are set up on the left, so you can snug a magnifier very close to the back 
of the eye relief of the HWS itself. And that's being on the side makes it the E model. There we get the full E, X, P, S, and then three is how that explains. You have your logo there of L3. There's your large window. You see how it's assembled these Phillips heads looks like. And uh, windage and elevation controls. You've got this large protective hood metal on the outside. It is removable if you want to lighten it up and make your sight less protected. And there are aftermarket covers uh, that flip up and down uh, with a, with a switchable hood uh, that you would switch out and drop in. And you would probably have to replace the retention cord on the battery or leave it off if you want to risk losing your battery cover. Uh, this is in there pretty deep, but uh, we can take a look at the battery real quick. You can see there it's got a O-ring on it and our battery. This one just happens to be a Panasonic, and I believe this is lithium. This is a CR123A, 3 volt. Okay, positive points out. And we put the cap back on. And snug hand tighten fit, so that way the O-ring does its job without getting too crimped. And uh, this is a quick attach. So this is your lock button. So you press that in, lever swings out, and then you can attach this to a rail system. And then locks in. If you want to adjust the tension, you would uh, loosen the lever, and then you can adjust uh, accordingly because this whole thing unit slides left to right. You can sort of see that retention plate right in there. Uh, to show you how it looks when it's mounted, here's an example on a Warfighter model. I set this up in conjunction with the ARMS 40L. You can see there as a backup site. Also left room to mount a magnifier if uh, desired. And it does give you uh, lower co-witness as well uh, we're not going to be able to bring it up in the focus in this video but uh, we'll try and cover that on a separate uh, video on that upper as well uh, try to do a quick daytime demo here I thought that would be a little bit more effective than nighttime so any of the buttons will activate the unit we're not going to go into night vision since we don't have a night vision mode setting on the camera right now so I'm going to use the down button. It will put it at medium intensity, which is pretty bright still. So I'm going to try to lower it so we can actually see the holographic uh, sight itself a little bit clearer. So you can see how when it does focus correctly, that you can see it is a very thin ring with the dot in the middle of it. So I'm trying to see if we have a sample reticle, but I don't have any documentation that shows that. So if we can get this maybe to focus on a different surface. Right now we're getting the kind of the astigmatism starburst. There's a little bit clearer picture still it is really in reality a pretty thin ring so i encourage you to look at uh, other sample images from better cameras this one is trying to actually focus on the uh ring itself as opposed to trying to look beyond it at what you would actually be aiming at but you can see here uh, i'm waving it from right to left and The main thing about, it's a little bit hard to see here. If we actually have it uh, at distance, you can actually see how the principle of a holographic weapon site of projecting an image uh, from multiple directions onto a holographic film on, on the surface of the glass versus uh, 
using an emitter to bounce uh, image like a red dot uh, gives you less parallax on a holographic system. So let me get that, see if we can quickly get that to uh, focus, give you at least a quick idea of what the reticle will look like, but right now the camera is not cooperating. We did get a pretty decent image for a couple seconds, but that was about it. So apologies, but power it off. Just hold one of the buttons down. Or actually, uh, both of the buttons, sorry. There, yeah, just like that. Very quick shut off. Uh, laser product. So there is one direction where you possibly could get zapped with that, but you would have to actually remove the hood and really uh, stare at it from an odd angle have that you can actually see a little bit of the holographic film coating in the image at the bottom there but taking a quick look at EOTech specifically the EXPS3 you can see that the camera won't even cooperate with the reference card there but uh, yeah check it out this one in particular also if you look at the history of EOTech there has been uh, various uh, quality uh, adjustments let's say to the program and this one is a reconditioned site that was in last inspected on 2017 so this was post the uh, evolution period uh, of the site so I haven't had any issues with it to date so in another show and tell video feel free to check out other show and tell videos on the channel we also do unboxing videos as well as a selection of book review media reviews feel free to check all those out feel free to like and subscribe and thanks for watching see you next time